to get rid of missing margins in your text, remove hyphens, and also add a text wrap around an image. So in this example, we have a headline that's going on multiple lines, but it has a hyphen in it. You want to avoid that. It's, it's just not good design. You can highlight it and you can hit uncheck hyphen in InDesign. There may be other ways of doing it in other software programs, but just look out for that. That's just a mistake you want to avoid. And you also want to turn off hyphens within the body copy. So if you highlight all of the body copy, you can also uncheck hyphenate to get rid of the jagged edge of the hyphens. In the layout sin lecture, we talk about missing margins and looking at this example, I'm going to turn on preview mode so you can um, see it without the lines. You see that not only is the text overlapping on itself, but it's also touching the edge of the line. You want to leave ample space between the edge of your text and the edge of the line so everything has its own space within the design and everything is purposeful. It's not just put there because you're trying to fill space. So first thing, you want to go by the column. So moving that text over in both areas. You move this over and you and you got, use the column guides for the text. And this naturally gives this image a text wrap. But let's say this image kind of spills over a little bit. If I want it to do that, that's totally fine. I just need to turn on text wrap, and you can do this in, in Word or Publisher or Apple Pages. Um, it's going to be a little bit different. This is InDesign, but when you turn on the text wrap, it in InDesign anyway, it goes by the edge of the line. So even though I turned on the text wrap, the text is still touching that picture. You don't want that. That would also be considered a missing margin. So you want to increase the space around the, the image. So there is also ample space between the text and the image. So going back into preview mode to get rid of the lines, you can see that there is ample space on the left side, the top, in between the image and the text, and also in between the headline and the text. So just making sure that you're paying attention to space throughout will give you a much better looking layout than everything on top of each other.